I listened to The Rite of Spring at the age of 14, and that was the moment I became a composer. So uh, I was 14 years old, and I had not heard any classical music uh, before Haydn, and I hadn't heard any after Wagner. A friend said, I want you to come over and hear something. This is uh, 1950, I guess. And uh, he says, this is, a, this is a Rite of Spring by Stravinsky. And he put it on, and uh, I really just couldn't fathom, what is this? It was just like completely jaw-dropping. This was in, in, in southern Westchester. And uh, I look out the window, there's a brook out there, and it's like all the colors and everything started to change. It was just like a whole, it's as if you lived in a house for 14 years, and somebody said, there's one room you haven't seen yet. <laughs> A couple of weeks later, the same guy said, I want you to hear something else. And he came over, he, I came over, and he played the fifth Brandenburg, which I had also never heard. And uh, so, I thought, so I immediately became interested in, like, what's going on now, because Stravinsky was alive, and what's going on around him, Bartok, etc., and what's, what, what's before, which is, of course, really my entire interest in, in, in classical music is basically those ends. Then a couple of weeks later than that, another friend who was a, a better piano player and he was uh, interested in jazz and he had discovered some records of Charlie Parker, Miles Davis, and the drummer Kenny Clark. And we were listening. I said, we got to form a band. He said, yeah. He said, I'll be the piano. I said, I'll be the drummer. And, and I somehow I made contact with Roland Koloff, who was, my, was then Butch Koloff in those days. And I began studying uh, snare drum with him. Uh, and then he became the timpanist with the New York for the mind. So that was a very crucial period of time within a few weeks of my 14th birthday.